So do you think um, foreigners should be worried about getting scammed by a Filipina nowadays? Mm, both. Hello everyone! Welcome, welcome back to my channel! And for today's video, I am with this yes. beautiful Filipina beside me. But before we're going to start to our interview, I want her to introduce her life, I mean her name, <laughs> and her YouTube channel because she has also a YouTube channel. And aside from that, uh, we're going to ask her life as well and about our topics for today. What is our topic for today? Five lies! Lies about dating. Filipina and yeah, dating a Filipina. Filipina. Yes, yes, exactly. So, so are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I'm quite excited for this because okay. a lot of people um, doesn't really talk about like the lies and then the lies. truth and the lights. Oh, the lights and the truth and Actually, the lies. It's not. It's not that. It's not. It, uh, it's not that really lies, but it's actually a reality yeah a real like for real, real the truth but some people would mm. tell it would like. consider it lie and some yeah. people would it would consider it as a real one yeah so, so but before that, can you please introduce yourself hi guys did you miss me as i miss you all trying <laughs> but uh, i'm jom uh -huh. and my youtube channel is jom's venture if you um you've seen me and an aunt's channel before if you're like um, an old subscriber to her, mm -hmm. so you've been seeing me and her channel. But um, I stopped my YouTube channel before, and this is the, you know, I just came back uh, from from somewhere. Yeah, from somewhere. <laughs> She's from the um, outer just, space. Just kidding, guys. I just came back from uh, to YouTube because I just finished my internship. Internship. So and when you gonna graduate? Oh, I kept telling this. Should I expect a gift? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so, uh, my graduation is July uh, 12. 12, July 12. Yeah. That's Take nice. note of that, guys. <laughs> July 12. Where and is my your birthday? Flowers? Is 24. 24. July 24. So, wow. it's a double celebration wow. and it's a double gift. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So, yeah, I'm so excited for your journey in life. You know, you already graduated, you know, like from all the hard work, from all the cries, crying moments that you've yeah. been through, the difficulties, you know, you've been through, but you already fought everything to it. And then now, you already finished in your first level. First, first level, level. And then the hardest part. The hardest is getting next. a job. <laughs> getting a job. Actually, at, it's like, um, well, you know that I was alone at my boarding house. Mm. Staying there was like it's very, you know, like you know, depressing. Mm. Cause I am alone, so I don't want to. I mean, I can't do anything. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Then I want to do live stream, but I can't because the signal is not good there. So I was like, I keep overthinking mm. things. The what will happen to me after I graduate? If things will work out or what so mm -hmm. yeah yeah, and so you know, like just keep going and then mm -hmm. just take your time because you're young, you know, yeah, you're young. But I realized it it yesterday about that don't overthink too much. Mm -mm. Just stay what you are right now. Mm -mm, yeah, exactly. Just focus on it. Exactly. So, so are yeah. you ready now to start? Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you please give us a um, one lies first? about like dating a Filipina because there's a lot of people right now talking about oh don't date a Filipina oh it's like a big risk if you're dating a Filipina right now because Filipina so, is yeah. so easy uh, up to your money you know we're mm. going to scam you we're going to hurt you leave you so broke. number one lie is that mm. Filipina is a scammer okay can you give so, us a reason um for me um a Filipina is um when when you talk about a Filipina is a scammer like when people call you a scammer it's it's a lie mm -hmm. but um it's a lie with a truth something yes. right? yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a lie with a truth yes. because um some some of the Filipina would do that especially mm. like for example um I've noticed a lot like they are already married but they wanted they wanted for more mm -mm. they want for more like they wanted for more money, they wanted for more assurance, and they called it practicality. Yes, right? exactly. They called it practicality, but... And then there's the facet, um, the other side also is that reality, because um, some of the Filipina, I mean, it's some of the Filipina is like, um, 
of course they gonna ask money from someone or from mm. their foreign boyfriend for a reason yes exactly. for a reason and also some of it some of the filipina mm. think that a foreigner is just using them for a temporary happiness yes so might as well use them use them to for mm-hmm. that kind of money Mm-mm. so so do you think um foreigners should be worried about getting scammed by a filipina nowadays mm, both mm-hmm. filipina should be worried in dating a foreigner mm-hmm. and when it and like both sides and foreigners should be worried in dating a filipina too so i think so what do you mean like, is like you need to be win-win careful situation. yeah just be careful you, you need to be careful the both of you filipinas and the foreigner yeah yeah because, because now, you know nowadays, this, it's mm, very mm-hmm. i know a lot of foreigners would do the same also to a filipina and a, a filipina also would be smart enough to do this to the foreigner because they knew what would happen at next or mm. because foreigners already experienced that thing then mm. they will do the same to the filipina mm. so it's a win like it's a win-win situation so, so overall we need you need just to be mindful, to mindful and uh, your actions yeah and then don't ever like for the first date don't ever tell them that you have you know a wealthy life living in america or mm, no. like you have a i mean a good business a good kind of living you know yes nice cars just like that because tell her the, they're gonna be more interested to you to your money Mm-mm. yeah they will not gonna be interested to you as yourself but they, will, they are interested about your backgrounds so yeah mm-hmm. just you need to be careful about it and of course uh, as you said like a filipina should be careful also like right nowadays there's a lot of i um, mean foreigners just wanted to be here just to uh, like the bang bang <laughs> to, to <laughs> like have, that to have yeah. the to have the girl like that yeah like, yes you know yeah and then they will go into their happiness yeah and then they will going to tell them that you know i i like to be with you and then i want you to be you know be, with, be with me do be with me just you know in, during my vacation and then what happened to the after the vacation you just yeah, use them so that's yeah. what i'm telling you um some of the foreigners would use a filipina for just a temporary mm-hmm. happiness for just like it's like an expert for them mm. like with, some of the foreigners also would like they use their money just to get mm. a filipina yeah so next is what can you give to us like the another lies another lies is uh, i think they said like uh, filipina is up to hook up right now nowadays right it's not it's yeah. a lie mm-hmm. filipina you know we Mm-mm. yes we is like we we would um i admit Mm-hmm. or we would add me and Ann would all would kind of getting sometimes would go to a to a kind of party sometimes yeah, party to a party sometimes Mm-mm. but that does it mean that we filipinas only want for a hookup because yeah that doesn't mean that we we go parties we want hook up or that, like that we go party to have fun but mm-hmm. what they misunderstood is like they thought that a filipina go party went out to for find who? a hookup a uh, hookup partner so yes. that's that's a lie Mm-mm. because um i do believe that um can i um if you really like that i do believe that a filipina have this positive mindset mm. that maybe they can find their destiny at the party place or mm. something diba and that that doesn't mean yeah. that doesn't mean that it's just for hookup Mm-mm. so what we usually do when we go parties when we go parties so <laughs> funny <laughs> because when we go parties we don't drink yeah we just go dance yeah. right? but sometimes am, we do but sometimes, but sometimes not yeah, sometimes like but drink, not wasted you know it's like one glass of sunrise mm-hmm. or one something like that it's just like we need our time together our mm-hmm. time alone like mm-hmm. No, experiencing as being a teenager but doesn't mean that we're yeah. going to jump onto someone's bed during night time yes. you know just enjoying the friends companies yeah. uh, enjoying socializing and i think and that's, that's kind of giving us a growth you know mm. and also um so diba you asked me what we usually do mm. at the party so usually do, we what we usually do at Dancing. the party is like we dance yeah and then as an ate as an older friend mm. of them mm. if someone will 
touch their butt or what. <laughs> yeah, I I'm remember. always there to just like grab eyes or really? like Then you her face. Shoo, shoo, you can, you can, <laughs> you <laughs> can touch her. I'm gonna, you see this? <laughs> yeah. The yeah right? Exactly. Yeah. I it's remember like, those moments. It's like I'm gonna like I'm gonna judge the the guy from yeah. head to toe. Like, yeah, but we cannot deny that there are some this- Filipina, like I think like a 15% Filipina that offer that. But most of the Filipina some. that offer that is just for their pros. Maybe they want something for their finances, financial to help mm-hmm. them. Because as we all know, here in the Philippines, it's really hard to find a job. Mm-hmm. It's really hard. Even when you have a degree, mm-hmm. I've, like, it's really hard. Or yeah, you can find a job, but with a small salary. Yeah, exactly. With a small salary that can't sustain your life. Mm-mm. I mean, your needs in life. And second, a second, the second res- reason for them to doing that is that uh, maybe they fall in love before, Mm-mm. but then the guy broke their heart. Oh yeah, then that's, they are just going up that's now. Why, oh, I that's enjoy. why they are just like, ah, oh, I want to enjoy life. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I just want, I want, I just want to see him that. I can do whatever I want, Mm-mm. or just like that. So do you think foreigners now must be wary about, like, or afraid, like, they might gonna be um, one part of the revenge, revenge from their previous experiences? I don't think they would be. Mm-mm. I don't think they would be. There's no reason for them to be worried if mm-hmm. their intention is pure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what are the next one? The next reason? Um... Common is like the Filipina is so matampuhin. Matampo, yes. Tampo. Matampo, tampo. We call it mm. tampo. Um, actually, it's 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 a lie with a little bit of truth. Mm. Because not all Filipina is so matampuhin, so tampo. But um, some of them will kind of like they use it mm. to be noticed, mm-hmm. noticed yeah. by their partner. Yeah, exactly. I diba? agree with you. To be like. They became clingy Mm-mm. when they make tampo. Yes. So, you guys, if your Filipina did tampo to you, then that's the sign Mm-mm. that she is really in love with you, and she wants you to, like, to be to ca- to care for her. To, yes. Like, to be clingy. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, about to take mm. something like, um, it's not that um she wants this, you should give this. It's not that. She just need attention. Yes, exactly. So do you think like uh, you are one of the tampos person? Of, um, yeah, of course. Me too. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. I'm so matampuhi. Like, yeah. I need attention. I'm so clingy. I'm jealous. Like once I feel like I'm not, you know, I'm not. You're not important. No, it's not that I'm not important. Once I feel that I'm unwanted uh, or something, oh like, yeah, like unwanted. I'm not belong to the group, or if yeah, they talk like, something and then I'm not included, or mm. if my, it's not just to be at partner. my partner. It's also a friends or you know families. But once I'm not included, I make tampo. Uh-huh. It's like you love tampo. When I feel I am not unwanted, then no. Uh. Especially if like for example, um. I have a group of people there, and then I have a group of friends, and then um, I I did some something mm. that's very important, and then they took pictures or whatever they did they, they, they do there, and then they didn't invite me. And then after that, they will invite me after they took pictures that mm. I can join it. I want because it's late, <laughs> late invite, something yeah. like that. So yeah, I accept myself as a tampu as a tampu girl, a Filipino tampu. Mm. Yeah. So, do you think foreigners will need to be worried about the tampos Filipinas? No. But do you think it applies to everyone Filipina? If you're dating a Filipina, uh, you, you need to expect that they're a tampos person. I think it's a level of maturity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's a le- level of maturity and understanding. Yeah, understanding as well. So, if you date like a tw- now, I mean, they're still early twenties or like, um. You know, younger than twenties, you should be expect guys that they have this kinds of attitude at tampos person personality. Yeah. So, what are the things? Do you know? I mean, like right now, a lot of people said don't date a vlogger Filipina. Do you think they should be afraid of dating a vlogger Filipina? 
I don't think they would be. Mm. Because once, you know, once it's love, mm. I don't think they would be afraid of Do that. Do you think like yeah. most of the... Okay. Okay. okay, the thing is, when a Filipina vlogger, of mm. course, um, she have lots of admirers. Mm -hmm. Of course, she have lots of admirers, a lot of, a lot of um, you know, mini guys would mm. actually interested. want her, uh -oh. would be interested to know her mm. personally. But it's up to a Filipina who would she choose, mm, right? Yeah. It's still up to us. Yes, exactly. So if we love the person that we're dating, that we were dating, so even though we did something on our YouTube or something like that, um, he he wouldn't be afraid though because mm. if we love, we love. Yes, exactly. So, so if you guys want to date a Filipina, make sure nga ko andun mo, you're ready. I mean, if you guys want to date a Filipina vlogger, make sure that you're ready. You already for a lot that. Yes, yeah, so that she will, like you know. Actually, like, do you think they should be worried also, like they might be hidden from, from us? Like for example, if I am dating a foreigner, but I am afraid to date. I mean, afraid to reveal my boyfriend. Do you think they should be, um, be ready to that? Like being hidden by their partner. Yeah, maybe in some point. In okay. some point, yeah, maybe, but. I think you need to give them a time. Like you need to give us oh, a yeah, time. That's a time to, you to know, reveal. To, to reveal, yeah, to reveal your boyfriend mm. or something. Yeah, it takes time because yeah. it's not that. Of course, uh, when you're a vlogger and then you have you have a bo boy boyfriend, mm. but um, you don't want the viewers to know that you have a boyfriend already. Of course, you you will hide your partner. Yes. But from time to time, you will like. For example, you'll introduce him as friends mm -hmm. first, and then, of course, if your viewers would like him like that, diba? Mm. There's a tendency that you might work as a vlogger yeah. together. So, exactly. Yeah, so don't be afraid in dating a Filipina vlogger because that's why I'm. Mm -hmm. That's why most of the Filipina vlogger is single. <laughs> why? Yeah. Because some of guys are afraid to date yeah. them. You know, you know what? Uh -huh. I got a lot of you know. I mean, like I like to talk to them, but suddenly when they knows that I am a vlogger, they might suddenly ghost me. They just ghosted me, so I just ghost them first. You know, like you know, re recently this is a funny one. Um, I talking to this guy. I was talking to this guy, and it just so happened that um, he ghosted me first, and then we back to talking stage, and then I ghosted him because you know, like. He's he, he's not you know, communicating so much to me anymore. If it's like the old you know the old happening, I mean the old scenario is happening. So I just ghosted him first, and, and I just so I know guys, it's just my I feel bad. I feel bad be because you know he went um he about to surprise me that I was away. I was re I was away, and then I cannot meet him. Oh, so and yeah. then um I just feel bad at some point, but somehow like. He does it first, so you know, it's not my lowest <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that's my experience. And I think guys, you don't need to worry for, you know, dating a Filipina. You just need to be careful whom you are dating with because it happens to every world, you know, in every country. You know, in every country, guys, it happens, you know, that you might experience being scammed, being, you know, uh, experience those kinds of lies, you know. But most of this, uh, what we're talking to, guys, is lies because you know not every filipina does this not every every filipina will going to leave you broke so yeah, yeah. just the same as, yeah like not all foreigners are good yeah not all um yeah just yeah. Same. not all foreigners are good not all filipinas are good mm. we are not perfect we're not perfect at everyone's all. not perfect so yeah. no one's perfect because there is always bad and good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Maybe so. maybe that guy is bad at that, mm. but he's good at this, mm. and then same as us, same as yeah. Filipina. Exactly. So yeah. So anyway, thank you, thank you so much, Jom. And actually, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my yeah, friend guys, channel, subscribe. Jom's Venture. I will going to put her channel link in my description areas, and then of course in the comment section as well. So thank you, thank you so much, everyone. And I hope you guys are going to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive any updates for my upcoming videos. Bye bye, everyone.